Hi, Musa, and uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, please think of this as a uh, chat in a cafe, in like, you know, a uh, friendly chat. It's not like... Um, with a nice fan, with a nice fan. <laughs> Sorry? With a nice fan. Yeah, with a, a nice fan. A chat in a cafe with a nice fan, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to be asking really difficult questions, so good luck. I'm going to start with the diff most difficult ones and go to the easy ones, hopefully, I think. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, the first and I think the hardest question is, uh, tell us a bit about yourself. I like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I am, my name is Muzna, that's, that's obvious. But I, like, what, what exactly about myself, like what I like or what I don't like? Um... Uh, how do you see yourself? Uh, how do you think people see you, your personality, I guess? I will add uh, some more. Uh, uh, can I tell your um, age? Born in the 80s? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm 33. You know, it's not a secret. Um, okay. Is it when I, like, I feel people maybe see me this way and but I see myself in a different way of course everybody likes himself you know everybody is 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 very much um, into himself but I, I'm always scared of this because I don't want to like myself so much I want to like my the, the art that I do more than myself and that's why I dedicated my time my you know like my life um, to create art and and I, I still feel it's my only um, I don't like the word message, but it's my only call in life. You know, like my destiny is this. My, my, you know, like life chose this for me before even I choose it. And I think um, it's obviously something that I want to do until I, uh, like until, you know, like the, the angel of death comes and he takes my soul. You know? <laughs> because I feel it's, it's just something that I, I want to give. So... Oh yeah, that's that's that. But what scares me always is that I become very famous. I don't want to be very famous because it it, it scares me that I, I lose the humbleness that I that I have and the closeness that I have with people. I don't want people to look at me as uh, as a as a, a purpose of interest or you know like somebody who they can get close to 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 get somewhere. I I always like. Uh, the closeness that I and the space, like the very, 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 um, like I, I'm always in journeys, you know. I, I, I throw myself into journeys into other people's life, and I, 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 I come out of it sometimes tired, sometimes psychologically, you know, damaged. But at the same time, I feel it's a great idea for a story. So I start again and I write. And I'm writing a book, I'm writing a film, and I keep always writing and working, and I'm doing also a children's program. I explore myself in different fields, in different, you know, like as a, as a, as a filmmaker, as a director, as an author, as a visual artist. So I do everything related with art and with creation. Okay, I guess my Good? name is... No? Yeah. Five out of, five out of ten? <laughs> uh, my next natural question is uh, how did you end up uh, in filmmaking I guess what what um, led you to filmmaking I guess to be a filmmaker uh, I when I was a kid I always liked painting 
because my father is a is a is a painter and he's a photographer and he's a he he, he was an interior designer. So I always had the uh, I, I I thought I had the skill of painting, you know, like you know, with with brushes with colors, etc. And then I discovered I'm really a bad painter, actually. <laughs> I'm not so good in painting <laughs> compared to other people. But I'm I'm good in a different form of painting, which is graphite, you know, like which is just painting with light and painting with colors. So I just I I I I I, I saw that the frame that we create is sort of a, a painting, tableau, you know. So I I then realized this is my destiny and this is what I have to do in life is not only to direct or to to you know, even I, 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 I create frame every day, you know, like my life is a my life is a is a huge big film. I, I, I keep paying attention to everything that happens to in my life and I elevate my senses because it's always important that you elevate your senses and your senses means the way you like you catch sounds, the way you look at colors, the way you, you see things. And um, you always have to have different perspective uh, in life uh, as an artist because, uh, you know, like certain people, you know, like they wake up in the morning, they go to work and then they come back. And everybody is, is creative in his own way. Everybody is an artist in his own way. But I, 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 I always feel like I want to dedicate my life for, for this because this is what I... This is what I want to give to people. This is like, and I feel life is give and take, but at the same time, I prefer always to give more than to take. Okay. Um, I guess, uh, no, I mean, your film Clouds is going to be screening to the audience for um, from Cinema Aqil uh, in the warehouse. So um, what can you tell us about the film Clouds? Clouds is sort of a very, um, it is a very symbolic story because it resembles my personal story. My father, um, he didn't paint for a few years and he was always paint, like putting the brushes in order and he never painted. And the, 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 the man, the blonde, he puts the bullets in order and he never kills the, uh, the, the leopard. And the leopard resembles also the past. You know, like killing the past and within your memory is not something easy. And I realized also that I I have an interest in ethno linguistics, and I, I'm I'm very interested in in languages in the Gulf because I feel it's important that we <clears throat> elevate that diversity, and especially that Oman is a mosaic of languages, dialects, uh, places, you know, <clears throat> of different people, different ethnic groups. So. You know, like not seeing this uh, or, or, or for forgetting about those ethnic groups or forgetting about the mosaic that we live in. You know, in the Arab world, we have a lot of wars, a lot of battles, a lot of conflicts because we don't respect diversity. And once we respect diversity, we can have a great civilization, we can have a great culture. And, and it starts from this, you know, us respecting the other and 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 that's why i realized it's also important that we in a way i'm a historian you know i do, i document things um and I, I i decided to document a lot of things uh, about my culture about my country about my people but at the same time i want to do it for the whole gulf you know i would like the whole gulf to see um uh like two understand that we are in a very interesting uh, region. We are in a very interesting uh, spot in the world. So we have to um, realize the stories that we have, the stories of our grandfather, grandmothers, and our ancestors. We have to trace our ancestors and understand why they were here. And so we can also, um, you know, give, give these stories to our children and to our grandchildren so they can take it, you know, in, in life and they can keep 
and they can defend this land and they can understand the settlement of human being in this region. Um, exactly. I mean, um, you chose a specific region uh, and specific, specific people. Um, one thing that I know about that region is it's, uh, well, uh, to me, it's one of those regions that's so different from uh, its surrounding. I mean, uh, the, it's, uh, it's uh, in uh, Salala or is it in, in that region? Dufar, yeah. Dufar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dufar, yeah. In Dufar, people speak South Arabian I call it Jabali Shahri, like slash, Jabali slash Shahri, South Arabian in, 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 in um, like historians would call it South, South Arabian. It's an ancient language, but also in the north there is ancient language. There are a lot of ancient languages in Oman, but uh, I think in the whole, you know, peninsula there are a lot of um, beautiful things that we have to focus on. But it, for me, it's for me it's a setup as well, you know, like because I when I was a kid I always went to to the south and I liked the the green landscapes and I was fascinated about the animals. I was like I. I saw a leopard, I saw like a gazelle, I saw things I only see on TV, you know, like in a safari or something, but <laughs> but like in a documentary about safaris in Africa, but I, actually I saw it in, in, in the South. And that's why I realized it's, it's beautiful to focus on, 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 on the nature of this, um, this region and to hope that this weather stays Forever there because you know global warming it's not uh, it's not easy, but I also think in, in the whole Gulf has a lot of stories and a lot of mythology, you know all 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 around you know like in Emirates in Saudi in in, in Bahrain in Kuwait everywhere we we hear a lot of beautiful stories and we have to as I said elevate our senses and pay attention to. To the to the trace of our ancestors. Okay. Um, also, I mean, what I also noticed um, about the film, maybe it's something important, maybe not. But the title uh, is called "Clouds," but uh, in your caption it was "Clouds," all caps except for the S in small letter. Why is that? <laughs> It's my director's, you know, like uh, signature. I always like, well, even when I write, like, even in the TV, I would write, like, put certain characters in a different way, just to make people pay attention. Um, uh, because uh, also clouds, I mean, Muzna means a cloud. So that's why I was connected. And I always like clouds because I feel they are, they are very, they are white, you know, they, they are, like they are very, uh, they are very innocent in the sky, you know, like you feel they are so wide, they are so beautiful. Um, and the the, the, the the color can change to gray, it can change to uh, like, and I, and I feel it's something that I always was fascinated about is, is, is clouds. So that's why I decided to, to, work, to work on this film. And it, uh, it won some uh, really, I guess, uh, important festivals. I mean, it was selected in the Clermont Ferrand, I think. Uh, I mean, um, actually, it went a little bit, but not so much because I, I was unlucky because of uh, COVID. Yeah, I know. And I had to a lot of a lot of festivals. It went to other fest three festivals, and it was cancelled. Three, the three of them. But I am, I am. For me, it's okay because you lose money, but you, you, but once you create something, it's 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 just you have a satisfaction that it's enough, you know. Like because when when the film is not is not bought by anybody, the film is not screened by anybody. Of course, you lose your time and money and your effort, and people want want to see your work somewhere and. 
everybody would ask you like, why you didn't benefit from the film? Why you didn't benefit? Why you didn't? Benefit? You're wasting your time. But for me, things are not about cash. You know, it's about or or, or it's about um, the the the, uh, the cash that I actually get is the satisfaction. And once I have it, I'm I'm fine, and I'm I'm happy. You know, so. Well, I mean, it was selected yeah. by Clement Foran. I mean, this is like the best uh, film festival for shorts. I mean, it was, they picked the selected. No, but it wasn't in the it wasn't in the official. No, no, it wasn't in the official uh, competition. And I wouldn't say this on on cinema, Aqil, because um, it's I I don't want to say any false information. But I what I what I want to tell you is that a lot of festivals were cancelled. Like I applied for many and. They were just cancelled, delayed. So, but oh, it's okay. It was the luck of the film, right? Yeah, I know. It's that okay. It was also selected in the Red Sea uh, Film Festival, also. Yeah, and even in Do like in many places. In Red Sea, it was in March twenty first, yeah. and suddenly it was cancelled. Yes, it was cancelled or delayed. I don't want to, yeah, uh, we don't want to say this because it's other festivals, so I don't want to get into that, you know. Um, the, the Crown of Olives, I mean, it's a project that you're working on. It's, uh, it's your feature film? Or is it a short film? Yeah, it's my first feature film. Um, Actually, I'm working on the Crown of Olives as a as a as a feature film. Mm -hmm. I'm working on a book okay. um, that I want to publish soon. I am um, um, working on a, a children's program that I want to uh, like people who are um, um, disability you know with with their eyes so the program is to to help children who who have a disability to have an imagination and it's about um malahi it's, it's about amusement park that it was closed for a while in in, in the city and there is one clown that got uh, a disease called the sadness syndrome uh, because he cannot laugh anymore and make children laugh so he he infect the other clowns and then the clowns infect the 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 every like every game in the amusement park and the the the, the uh, you know like the parents write a letter to the to the governor please close this amusement park down because all the children are sad since nabil the 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 clown is cannot make them laugh so, and then the girl Hala, and Hala in Arabic means an aura, you know, like aura of happiness and, and joy. She writes a letter to the governor and she asks him to open, to give her 30 days to open the, um, to have the opening of this amusement park with her brother Rashad, who's very bad in spelling, but he helps her, you know, like write the, the, for each speech that she has to tell everybody in the in the amusement park so i'm i'm writing songs because i like music and um, so i create ana nabil ana nabil al muharrij uhibbu dawan an uharrij so and every day i keep writing the whole night a new song for children and it's 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 as i said like um, I wanted to come, like, I, wa I wanted, because I'm a child myself, you know, everybody's a child in a way, but um, I wanted to make children, um, uh, you know, um, collaborate with me. So I work with children, especially who have, uh, you know, like, I, I, I don't know how to call it, but it's a, sort of a disability related to eyes, any disability that is related to your eyes, and they cannot see well, but they can actually see in a different way. They can they can have their own imagination. That's why I decided to work with the radio, with Amani National Radio Station. And I decided to do it on the national radio because, um, as I said, my, my, my cash is always not, you know, like uh, a certain um, amount of money, but my, it's the satisfaction that I get from working with, with, with people from different, uh, people who have different perspective or point of view in life. 
So uh, this is what I'm working on. And this is this excites me every day because it's a lot of ener good energy and positive energy. And it also, ref uh, it also refers to the um, idea that, you know, like we, in, the, in our world, you know, in the world of adults, we, we are so angry of a lot of things, you know, that they, they don't happen, they don't work out, they, you know, but in, in the world of children, we, they are happy with, with little things, you know, like a, a piece of chocolate, you know, or a, they just, they are done with their homeworks, you know, it, it makes them happy. And I think I, I, after I lost a lot of things this last year, you know, I lost a lot of money, I lost a, a, lot, a lot of problems happened to me, but I decided, okay, there is another value uh, of life that I have to learn. There's something different that I have to pay attention to. So I decided to shift a little bit my attention, not to cinema, not to, but to radio, which is something, you know, it's not a podcast even, it's like a national radio. But I have this challenge to, to recreate you know, or to make this national radio alive and, and also to make children. And I decided that it's a national radio and the amusement park is a amuse, national amusement park and the government is, 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 is something related with, with the state because it's in a way um, to, to make children understand that we are here, you know, to create uh, a certain uh, type of um, art that it's related with you guys and we don't want anything from you. You know, we don't want, uh, we don't want to benefit behind, behind your, like, we are just here to, to, to create something for you guys for the future. And I think it's maybe later on we can do certain things in the Gulf uh, for children in the Emirates and Saudi and, and other in Kuwait and other places uh, because children are the future. Um, and I feel we've been focusing on a lot on young young people, young people, young people show up, show up, show up. But those shabab are useless, you know, because the values of life. They already, you know, like they they are now. They are interested in cars and and Starbucks and, you know, the ch the children are the future. Okay. Um, uh, one, I mean, how do you balance your work between? I mean, your work with the TV and radio and like uh, cinema. I mean, uh, I guess I. I mean, we we all don't. We're not all. Um, free just to do cinema, but I mean, we work on both. So how do you balance your work between both? That's, I guess, the next question. Uh, how do you do it? I will, I will share this question <laughs> to you first. I, I respond. Okay. I how don't do know. Know. I just, uh, um, in my daily life, I'm more focused on agriculture and farming and stuff like that. So, Oh, uh, I like farming. <laughs> I like I love animals. I like anything that it's green, and you're wearing green. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, we're green, but I mean, our farm is very desert, so it's, it's okay. But I mean, um, as soon as, as there are projects, I try to like, um, you know, get the projects ready, and as soon as like the script is ready, go to the next step. You know, production, funding. As soon as that uh, ready, then. Next uh, step is uh, production, I guess, shooting and stuff like that. So I think it's step by step. Mm -hmm. I, I step has been ready. But I mean, it's hard to find projects because, I mean, you know, because um, I depend on script writers. So it's hard to find script writers, hard to find um, stories that appeal to you, you know, you know finding the right uh, script is like, I don't know, it's like... <laughs> You know, so you find something that you, you connect with. It's not easy sometimes. Mm -hmm. But how do you do it? <laughs> but I mean, you're a writer. Oh, uh, I don't sleep. Okay. <laughs> I don't sleep. Yeah, I sleep four hours a day. Uh, that's it. I wake up at four o'clock in the morning every day and I start writing and then I go to work and then I come back and I just don't sleep. But but I, anyways, I'm trying now to, to change my... The thing is that I, I start, I always wait until life gives me a very bad experience. And from that, because it's like, for me, it's, it's like 
you know, Ta'ir al Phoenix, it's like the Phoenician bird, you know, you come out of ashes. And this is how you create for me, like bad, always bad, good experiences. It's whatever I experience in life, I just put it on screen, you know, like uh, on screen or in, a, I always um, reform things that are in front of me. So sometimes if I'm bored, I just try to, you know, like, pay attention to people that catch my attention and I go with them into journeys and I I, I, I come back out of it sometimes as I said smashed <laughs> sometimes destroyed emotionally but I like it because I can write better because I, I go so much deep inside the human nature and this is what I like um, I had a very bad experience with a friend. I thought she's a friend because for me, everybody is a friend. <laughs> so yeah. I wrote Taju Zaytun according to this friendship. But uh, you also learn a lot about the psychology of, peop of people if you allow them, you know, like I always try to allow people inside my life and I welcome them in, not necessarily in my house, but within my space. And, and I'm always, interested in in what they do what, what is their life and this is how i write and i write better when i have bad experiences unfortunately unfortunately <laughs> but the other thing is that i what i do is that when i have a project i focus on it and then when i feel i'm stuck i just leave it aside and i i come back to it afterwards so i just write whatever uh, that i'm interested in or what catches more my attention. Now I'm doing the, the radio program because it's I'm enjoying, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of melodies. I write, I compose music, so I, I like it. I didn't know that, that you compose music. This is neat. <laughs> um, one thing that us filmmakers do a lot, especially during festivals, is uh, we talk about the state of the the filmmaking or the cinema in the, in the region. So this is like uh, a generic question. How do you see filmmaking uh, in the region? Is it good, getting better or like, um, you know, pessimistic? <laughs> I mean, for us, uh, how, how do you see it? How do you see it? I'm, I'm in the UAE. I mean, we lost two festivals, so <laughs> things, <laughs> hasn't been quite as good, but I mean, I'm, ho I don't know. For me, it's like, as long as the filmmakers make films, to me, that's the, that's, film, you know, that's us breathing. <laughs> and we're not dead yeah, yet. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I think as you lost two festivals, is something good because what, people who are hungry, they think, people who are, <laughs> full they, they don't think so when you lose something in life you are you start understanding why you lost it and then you try to call it back or you try to recreate it again and if you know that you cannot do the same you do better or you do worse but i think it's good that people lose things because in, in the gulf we you know we have a lot of people who don't appreciate what we have in life and comparing to other people in, 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 in this world. So, and also the, the thing is that a lot of, like the Gulf will be, will have a lot of hardship and a lot of problems because when we have problems, we have creativity, we have more, you know, art scene. But once we have everything is good and life is beautiful, nothing, nothing, nothing happens. And I think also the other thing is that in the, in the Gulf region, I, I, I also feel, uh, um, you know, our, our life is, can be more interesting when we have, because we are also in a, in a tectonic plate that it's close to different, uh, you know, people, civilization, cultures, and, but we are in a way we are the same because we are children of Sam bin Nuh, you know, the son of Noah. So we are in a way we are all the same, but we are also different. And uh, because of the complex that we have, everything in, in 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 our life is affected by you know like the the, the bigger problems or bigger picture. But 
things in the future will be better in the Gulf because people will have awareness of what they lost and what they want in life. And as I said, the future is always the children. But the things that for me, I, I feel is we focused on, on, on festivals and cinema, but cinema cannot work without infrastructure. Infrastructure of art is not only cinema. Infrastructure of art is visual art, is painting, is, is a lot of things together, photography, whatever, and they have to be combined together to create infrastructure because cinema is a new is a new form of expression and that's why i don't like to watch netflix all the time uh, i i wish you know like nobody would watch netflix all the time i read a lot and that's why i i i in a way do exercises with with my mind i have you know you have better imagination when you don't have a lot of distractions and a lot of negativity because certain films they have neg negative thoughts or negative effect on you and certain films they have positive effects every day honestly i don't watch certain type of films once in a month or twice in a month i i, I pick even certain times where i keep watching and mostly it's masters of cinema but not Netflix every day because that's a distraction for me at least. That's why I keep reading and this is the best. Um, and I also think because cinema is a new form of expression. So literature is 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 deeper, you know, like that's why I prefer to read than to watch films. Okay, I mean we've covered a lot of things. Um, right now, I think um, I would like to end with uh, several photos that I've stolen from your profile. <laughs> and, uh, no! Get, get really? Uh, mamma and, mia, mamma mia. <laughs> and um, yeah, That's you okay. can comment on them. Uh, let me see okay. if I can. I can do this. I'm, I'm sure there's something about the Gotham Festival. Um, if it's stolen, obviously, Gotham Festival or Dubai. Let's uh, see, Allah. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying. Wait, okay, here's the button. All right, can you see this? Yeah, that's all. Well, this, is is a, this is an art. Work called Al Aris Wasal, the groom arrived. It's part. Uh, this uh, this photo is taken by Maria Iannizzi, uh my Italian uh, friend and photographer. And we were working on. A, Did you repeat that? Sorry. Yeah, we we are working on a project called the groom arrived, Al Aris Wasal. Okay. It's a very beautiful photo. I mean, nicely composed. Maria Iannizzi, she's the Italian photographer. We were work. We are working. This photo is part of a project called "The Groom Arrived." It's awesome. I also realized in your last two projects, you were working with an Italian producer, right? Is that correct? Yeah, uh, I actually. Yeah, I, I had Italian producer car. We, we, we are not working together anymore. Okay. Um, okay. Let's go to the next photo. This is nice. Um, yeah, this is. Where? Yeah, this is. Where? This is 6, 6 a.m. in Wadi al Khul with my cousin. Uh, yeah, I like animals. I like because yeah. yeah, goats, I guess. Yeah. I thought, yeah. Oh, I want to have a goat. <laughs> I, I, you know, I wish I, I can go to work with a goat every day. Or I can take a goat with me to a supermarket. But it's, it's, it's not something that could happen. Like, I imagine going to the supermarket with a goat. It would be nice, you know, like the goat can I've, shop with you. <laughs> I've seen people with pygmy, uh, pygmy goats, like the short ones, and uh, they would be inside the house. Or, I mean, yeah, they don't take them to school, but I mean, 
they're with them, I guess. <laughs> they're, you know, they're like uh, house pets. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, but I mean, I, I, my dream is to take the goat to the supermarket. Okay. <laughs> and a leash. And a leash or, yeah. and, a, leash. or a shopping mall. Like, okay. to see the people's reaction in a shopping mall. <laughs> a goat in a shopping mall. Okay, the next photo, I mean, it looks very old. It's... Uh, yeah, this is not an artwork, actually. Uh, yeah, this is Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, could you skip this one? Because I don't like it, actually. But when I was when I was playing guitar, I, this was... Okay, this one yeah. is like a senorita pose. Yeah, yeah this is feudalism, part of... Uh, yeah, this, I told you there's something about the Gulf of Brazil. Yeah, the, the, we, it was also with the same photographer, Maria, and her husband. We, we were working on a project called Feudalism, uh, and it was about uh, the division, and it was about the Marquesa, you know, if you know the Baron uh, Lakta'iya, you know, like uh, Barona, Baron, Marquesa, you know, like, so this was the idea. Sorry, could you repeat the division? The, the, Vision of resources in society. Okay. Resources in society. Feudalism. Okay, let me see if I can do this correctly. Uh, okay, this photo, I think it's a special photo. Can you see? Guess where is it now? Share screen. Okay. The last photo. Is are you like? Are you? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you like in and out or logging? Do you like log in and you log out? No, it's, it's a, it's a screen share, and uh, okay. that's confusing a bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, this is a photo of you at the Gulfland Festival. Yeah. Very oh, old. I told you there was something about Gulfland Festival. Oh, but it was a beautiful time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello to all our friends. Yes? It was very old. I mean, this is from a very long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, all of us we were here. <laughs> Sorry, I missed, I, yeah, I won actually at the festival. I won second prize student ah. competition. For which film? Naqab. You remember Naqab? Right, let me see. Uh, okay, this one, right? Is it yes. clear? <laughs> this is your first film. Yeah, yeah, this is my first film. This was my project with Kuwait University. Uh, actually, um, okay, so that was Naqab uh, poster. So tell me, how did you feel at uh, that time, you know, with your first film? I was maybe 20 when I was in university. And luckily, my doctor, Mahmoud al Mousawi, he asked me to write, like, first of all, we had to write a paper about, you know, like, um, not, not cinema, but, you know, like films and in general. And then um, he told me, why don't you write something about the society or something you feel? So I thought, hmm, I'm, I was interested in women who wear niqab, it's, and I'm not against them, I'm not with them. It doesn't reflect anything about my, my personal opinion about it. But I thought that everybody in the Gulf wears niqab, a man and a woman. And niqab means the mask that you wear in front of society. And I thought, okay, what if a woman goes to a rendezvous, you know, like a date, and uh, she has to wear a niqab? What would be uh, the thoughts that she would have? And what she is in front of society, like how society would look at her. And 
I, I had a little bit of troubles because people didn't understand my message, but I also had a nice prize beside that. And, uh, and uh, it was like a lot of people liked the, the project. Um, and I thought, yeah, like I, I think everybody wears niqab in the Gulf, a man and a woman. And it's the niqab that it's, it's like a, something related to society, the mask you wear for society. It's a very thick mask. I remember the film. I mean, one thing that stuck out is how creative it was made. Um, if people want to see your work, where can they watch them? That's, I guess, the last question. Uh, I don't have them on YouTube, honestly, because there are certain work they have copyrights. And also, um, uh, you know, like when you have it on YouTube, you don't know, like, because I don't have a personal channel on YouTube and I, I'm, I don't have time for it, you know, you need to follow up, you need to maintain the, the, the channel. But I would be happy if anybody writes me on Instagram or Facebook that I can send them my work. Okay. Mostly uh, Instagram. But, uh, no. Okay, Muzna, uh, thank you very much for being with us. I think uh, I really enjoyed our conversation. It was nice. It was uh, exploring uh, many things and uh, several things and uh, different things and uh, I don't know it was fun thank you thank you for being with us because we are friends before we like we are colleagues in, in, in the same sector but we are also friends we are also um, you know it, it would be nice to exchange ideas and thoughts and, and again and talk to you again Anytime you have my contact, and, um, <laughs> and yeah, I mean, we've been in contact before, definitely. Inshallah, definitely. We will meet. We will meet. Take care and say hello to your child and to your family and to Emirates, to Dubai, you know, to everything. And Abu Dhabi, you know, like, just say hello to everybody. Definitely, we. Uh, I'll, well, I look forward to seeing you again, and I'm sure the guys also. We all look forward to meet again, all the filmmakers in the Gulf. Inshallah, definitely. Ciao. <laughs>